I'm Tom of Leeds Becker University and this is my entrepreneur marketing blog. What is entrepreneur marketing? There are many alternative definitions of entrepreneur marketing as there is no definitive answer. But Chaston sees entrepreneur marketing to be more about risk taking and out of the box thinking in the way the product is marketed. Stokes however believes entrepreneur marketing is limited to small or medium sized businesses as large organisations don't tend to need to due to the larger customer fan base they already have. Thirdly, Maurice et al. says marketing is the proactive, the identification and exploitation of opportunities for acquiring and retaining profitable customers through innovative approaches, through risk management, resource leveraging and value creation. This summarised means that it's all about being proactive instead of reactive to the market which shows which you're operating with a lot of focus being on being innovative. My Satal also coined this model which shows the seven factors they feel are involved in marketing with each part equally weighted. The business I've chosen to look at is Source and Brown. Source and Brown are a premium men's clothing brand originating from my local village Annesley Woodhouse. They currently operate with an online store as well as a small shop just up the road from me. The micro environment is defined as the activities going on within the organisation. Source and Brown's core value is that they only make 100 of every style, as they state that, in a world of 7 billion, we believe it is a statement to be one of 100. This links to the core companies model and also gives them a USP, which helps them compete in their market. This is fundamental to their brand image, and I feel by doing so adds a uniqueness to their clothing, as well as adding value to the person wearing it, the clothes that they know they won't see in the item of clothing everywhere. Like for example, Ralph Lauren and Fred Perpellers being worn everywhere. Competition. Being a small business that operates in a very competitive market can be very challenging to compete and survive, with the constant threat of entrants coming into the market and offering a similar or better version of their product. However, I don't, I don't think this affects Source and Brown as they have created a very good niche that keeps them secure and safe. Also, as they are a local business to me, I can confidently say they have a large group of low customers in the local area that buy a lot of their clothes from there. I, for example, own multiple items from there, such as this t-shirt, and they're very popular within my family and friends. Also helped by the fact that we know the owner fairly well and he is a popular figure within the area. Kotler's view on the macro environment is that it is the largest societal forces that affect the whole macro environment. Demographic, economic, natural, technological, political and cultural forces. Another way of defining this is that it looks at the external environment and areas outside the business. This can be split into six aspects, commonly referred to as PESTLE. I will now like to address a couple of these aspects which I feel link or may link to in the future. Source and politics. The political aspects surrounding the business. For example, with the pending Brexit negotiations affecting trade deals and the cost of importing and exporting goods, this may affect Source and Brown in the future with the cost to import materials increasing and could also stunt their growth in the future should they look to advance overseas. These are the socio cultural aspects. For example, the fashion industry is ever changing and advancing further day by day, so keeping up with it is difficult. Therefore, Source and Brown try to keep themselves out of the stress by being a niche fashion shop. As spoke about earlier, with one of 100 being a trademark and their core value, this means they can evolve at their own pace without ever getting outdated. On the flip side, they charge 60 plus quid pounds for some shirts, and given the area is low to medium income, this could limit the level of sales they will achieve. I will now employ a SWOT analysis of their current marketing activities. The strength of their current activities is that they avoid high cost of advertising and rely solely on the quality of their clothes and custom satisfaction to get them acknowledged. The weakness of their current activities, however, is that they are very limited as to who will hear about the store. The shop is well renowned in the local area, but outside the local area they are not very well known. They have potential opportunities to change, however. They could look to venture further afield and advertise to a wider market, attracting new customers. But the downside to this, however, is with the clothing industry being so competitive, it will be difficult to get noticed even then, and also if they increase the demand too much, they could lose their core value of only making 100 of each style with increased demand. Overall, I feel their ways of marketing are proved to be very successful and they have developed a, a good law fan base since first opening in 2014. However, going off from the opportunity I stated above, another recommendation for Source and Brown would be to venture into design and selling women's clothing as well. Linking this back to Schumper's forces of creative destruction by introducing a new good, this will give them the opportunity to gain many more new customers and could hypothetically double their revenue if the women's range becomes as popular as the men's.
there is the cost implication of creating a whole new clothing line, but I feel give, it, given this popularity brand, this would be success.